Hi, it's Candace from Grow Local again, and we're going to talk about fertilizers today. N, P, K. Those are the three letters that you're going to find on most items. And they stand for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And if you're one of those people that can never get the letters in order, nitrogen is for your green leafy growth. Phosphorus, PH, if you were trying to line something up in the library, comes before PO. So phosphorus is the one in the middle. And it is the one that gets you more flowers and seeds and fruit production. And the K, which is your potassium, that's for your overall health of the plant. It helps resist disease, it helps take up all the nutrients, it's good for water absorption. And like I said, just all around general health. Now, when you get your fertilizer, you're gonna see some numbers on it. This one says 20, 20, 20. That means it's got, that's the volume of the nutrients that are available in this. So you've got 20% nitrogen, 20% phosphorus and 20% potassium. Ones that are for tomatoes might be slightly different. The one I've got says 18, 18, 21, because you wanna have lots of green growth. You really want high numbers for your fruit production, but mostly you want really good nutritional water uptake and disease prevention with your tomatoes. These ones are water soluble. Now those are the ones, think of them like a chocolate bar for your plants. They're going to be instant gratification. They're not going to last that long, but they're going to give your plants the boost that they need when they need it. And these ones typically you would have to apply once every seven to ten days. Or if you aren't very good with schedules, do it weekly, weekly, and that should keep you on track. This one is what they call a granular or slow release. You might have heard of some of them called feed and forget. These ones go into the soil. They last a little bit longer, some for three months, some for six months, which is really, really nice. But they are also um, water, temperature, and soil microbial dependent. So if all the conditions aren't right, they're not gonna activate, which means you might need to use your water soluble ones. This one, when you apply it to the soil, it's just a case of sprinkling it on and then just covering it up with a little bit of soil. Okay, and that's it. Every time you water, it's gonna dissolve a little bit and release a few more nutrients or fertilizer into your soil. These ones that I've got here are a slow release also. They're more organic. They are going to, in the long run, do your soil more good. Um, this one is your seaweed meal. Really, really good for your tomatoes. You don't have to apply a whole lot, but it's really good for the overall health of the plant and it's got micronutrients in it this is one that's taken all the guesswork out of it for you it's got all sorts of lovely things in there feather meal alfalfa meal bone meal blood meal glacial rock dust natural rock phosphate fish bone meal mineralized phosphate potassium sulfate insect frass bug poop basalt rock dust humic acid gypsum kelp meal oyster shell flour, and green sand. And guess what, you pronounce all of these so you know it's gonna be okay to put in your garden. These ones, this one is a powdered form. And again, this one you can just put into your soil and cover it up. I don't suggest you do it on a windy day. It's not very nice if you have to do that. Make sure you wear a, a mask and some glasses and if you get caught feeding it to deer and elk and stuff, you might get in a little bit of trouble. But other than that, there's not a whole lot you need to do. These ones you would add probably once at the beginning of the season, maybe once halfway through. These ones again, once every seven to 10 days or weekly, weekly. This guy, once for the season and you're done. And that's about it for your fertilizers.